Monster's Jennifer Kittle has reaction tonight from Austin. He's a paying job, and I spent my life savings to come here. That man, who asked to remain anonymous, would have been one of the cadets joining the 144th class in June. The Austin Police Association says that class would have been the department's most diverse. The city is losing that, what we could have been, and I think the city's missing out because we have plenty to offer. Months after receiving orders to report to Austin, they learned their class and the following two cadet classes have been canceled. We've been left behind, and we feel like we've been lied to. Uh, we will do anything to serve them, but we've been pushed aside, and uh, unfortunately, uh, our voices can't be heard. Dropping the cadet classes was part of Austin City Council's decision to make millions of dollars worth of cuts to the police department budget. Police Chief Brian Manley says he will move officers from specialized divisions in order to maintain the number of police on patrol and therefore response times. But officers say that will have serious impacts on other investigations. If you don't have enough personnel in patrol to be released, to get promoted, to go into those units, you will not have enough detectives to properly investigate those crimes. Tell that to a family that's dealing with a child abuse case, or a child fatality case, or a homicide. And that's what they don't understand. The decision to cut the police budget follows months of protests over police brutality and racial injustice. Protesters called for the budget cuts so that money could be redirected to community services like mental health programs and addiction treatment. The executive director of Texas's largest police union, CLEAT, says there are ways to make policing better, but cutting officers from an already understaffed department isn't it. The same politicians who beat their chest and, and screamed about reform are going to be screaming about the fact that the murder rate's up and the police need to do something about it. It'll be very difficult to sit through that kind of hypocrisy. Chief Manley says he has offered some cadets, like the one we spoke to, a temporary unsworn position until classes start up again. With the number of officer retirements on track to surpass all previous years, they will be needed more than ever. They just hope they're still wanted. My heart's still here. I still love the city. Uh, I still want to serve the people here. Jennifer Kendall, Fox.